Hi all, hope you're all keeping well. Um, this is a, a little video I thought I'd do now. I receive a lot of um, questions from people asking about my recording setup, and uh, so I thought I'd take this opportunity, just uh, doing an, another video, to show you a video of how I make videos for YouTube. Well, to start off with, um, this is my room that I do a lot of my recording in. Um, as you can see, there's uh, there's light everywhere. I've got light and this light, little light kit um, I purchased from eBay. Um, the biggest biggest thing I've noticed a lot um, with, with doing these videos is the, the light is so important to the quality of the video. Um, so hence why I use these two um, lights. I um, hope you can see that okay. And then what I basically have is a camera um, pointed at me just there. And then I then normally have this camera which I'm holding um, sitting on that coffee table um, aimed over on a little um, stand which was um, a pound from the pound shop. Stepping back a bit, um, I then have my iPad um, which as you can see is showing a, a tablature. Um, this will then I basically read that off of the iPad uh, as I'm playing the guitar. Um, so this is my, for this particular video, I used my Alan Brayson Stratocaster, which you've seen many times. Uh, it's looking absolutely gorgeous there. Um, and that then basically comes out of the guitar, across the floor with lots of cables. Um, and then the first pedal I'm going into is a new echo unit that I've been using now for, for quite a while. Um, it's the Blue Nebula um, echo pedal from stanleyfx.co.uk and uh, it's a really good pedal um, nice compact size and I find that suits me really really well I'm using it quite a sort of for every, everything at the moment really um, from then I'm then coming out of that and I'm going into the Joyo Ace Tone pedal um, and this is a pedal which is available on the internet on Amazon and eBay uh, it's about £30 um, and it's basically um, an amp modelling pedal that replicates the sounds of a Vox AC30. Um, so you've got, as you can see, you you do have to be very careful with the levels on this. You have to turn the level right up and the drive right down, otherwise it does distort very easily. Um, I find the best uh, part of the chain at the moment is, is that way round, so the echo going into the ace tone rather than the other way round. If you go the ace tone into the blue nebula, then it does tend to over, overdrive it too much. Uh, as you can see, that's fair, set fairly flat. Um, that's because I'm using the EQ pedal on this particular um, song. I don't use it often, but uh, it, for the vintage shadow sound, it is brilliant. So what I then do is set all of the levels, uh, the middle, low and high, at about 12 o'clock. And then coming out of that, I then go into this uh, little pedal, which is the K-Line, I think it's the CP24. Um, again, it's about £25 from eBay, and it's basically yeah, it's a 10 band, 10 band graphic EQ, and as you can see, it's set up um, very much like the sounds from uh, Ronnie Gustafsson's video, um, which is available on YouTube, uh, and that gives the, the core sound, as you can see, it's, it cuts some of the bass, cuts some of the treble, and gives you that mid-range bark, which the uh, Shadows had in the very early days. Um, just at the side there, um, I, I haven't been using this since I got the Blue Nebula to be honest, but uh, I had this custom built for me by a guy called Pedal Healer in Hungary. Um, and it's essentially a Blue Nebula, um, the, it's the old ETAP, um, but in a beautiful housing that looks like it would be a modern day Miazzi pedal if it was ever made. Um, but it's a, it's a great pedal, it's, a, it's my backup for the Blue Nebula because it runs on uh, the same 9 volt adapter that uh, these two pedals run on. Uh, just to give you a bit of background information, um, when I play live with my band, the, the Wannabe Shadows, um, I pretty much use this same setup, but without the Ace Tone. Um, so obviously I, I don't need that running into a Vox AC30. Um, but so I, the Blue Nebula gets used, as does the uh, EQ pedal. And then from there, I then uh, come out of that and I go into this focus right. I believe this is the 2i2, um, which is again a really good piece of kit. Um, you can monitor it with headphones. Um, you can see it's got a single 
uh, input going into a split two input so I get both channels on the recording and from then I then use one of two methods um, at the moment for, for ease of use at the moment I'm using a, a MacBook which has got the logic software installed um, and I find that really really good um, but uh, I don't use that all the time I have got another laptop that's got audacity programmed on um, and I use that quite a lot because it's again very very simple basic program for for this sort of thing uh, for those of you who are interested um, the camera that I actually use I use two of these um, they're a Sony camera and uh, they are the um, Sony Handycam HDR PJ410 uh, you can see two of them there um, they've got little USB connections built into them and that slides inside the handle um, and then you, what you can do, the great thing about these is you can switch them on and off using your mobile phone or a, um, either an Android or an iPhone device so you can press the record and you can actually view on on the iPhone and what this little screen is showing so it's really really handy, a great piece of kit, they're about £200 each um, but they do do the job really really well okay um, and once the audio file is done and the videos are both recorded um, what I then do is uh, transfer onto a Windows PC um, because uh, I use a program called Cyberlink Power Director um, and this is a really really good program I've used it uh, for a long long time I've tried Mac alternatives but uh, none of them are, are quite as simple and easy to use in my opinion um, so what I do is I then transfer all four, sorry, on this particular occasion, all the files, I think there's five going to be on this one, um, transfer them onto uh, the PowerDirector, um, and then essentially on PowerDirector you get a uh, timeline, um, which means you can basically add the clips um, straight into the timeline, um, and then you can move, move them around, put them in different places, and you can add music, uh, various. I'm using Cyberlink Power Director number 14, so the latest one. Um, but so I also have a copy of Cyberlink Power Director 12, which is available as a 3B uh, at the moment on on the Cyberlink website, and that has quite a lot of the features um, on it. On here, you can do green screen. Um, you can also do um, different effects, add music to the background as well, um, add captions, um, and then you can upload straight to YouTube using the program. So it's it's really really good. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, it was just a little summary of my uh, my recording setup, which is a few of you have asked for. Um, if you have got any questions at all, um, please send me a, a message or a comment below. Uh, I'll put links to all the pedals that I've mentioned um, below in the uh, in the comment box. Um, until then, until the next video, I'll see you soon. Take care.